I've always been fascinated with movies. As a kid, I was always running around with the camera, shooting anything and everything. I remember specifically for my fifth or sixth birthday, one of my friends getting me a set of Star Wars action figures. That was actually my first movie. I used those action figures uh, and I made a stop motion uh, animation and took all day. It was this realization that like, wow, all that hard work, all that time created something. And it created something new that wasn't there before. I was obsessed. And that passion and drive hasn't stopped since. Scene seven, take two, marker. I was unschooled from birth to 13 or 14. And my parents' support for me was very multifaceted. They truly supported me in whatever I wanted to do. I didn't do school. I made that choice. It truly did come from me. My parents really gave me the freedom to do what I wanted. If I wanted to go to school, that was totally fine. If I wanted to unschool, that was fine. If I wanted to homeschool more traditionally, more, you know, more of a uh, strict curriculum, that was fine too. So it was, it was more just an organic um, thing that, that arose. The way I, I learn the best is just by doing. I have always been a, a very hands-on person. I like my own space and I like my own time and I like to choose how that time is spent. Um, and school is none of those things. That's how I found my love of filmmaking was because I had all this free time to explore and experiment and just dive in and not worry about what time it is or what else I had to do that day. So after I made the stop motion animation piece, that sort of led to doing bigger things. So going from a stop motion to, okay, well now let's try live action. So when I was 14, I decided to make a documentary We were back in Iowa visiting some family. We stopped to see a family friend, and she was telling us about this group of Sudanese refugees that she had befriended. She started telling their story and how these boys from 8 to 13, 14, their families were killed and they were forced to just wander throughout the Sahara Desert for a decade. She basically, on a whim, sort of said, oh, Jared, you should interview them and make a documentary. And I sort of just said, yeah. And uh, over the next few months, it started to become real. I used my paper out money to purchase a camera and went out with my parents to Lincoln, Nebraska for about five days. So we shot a bunch of stories and didn't really know what I was doing. You know, as, as you are when you're 14 and you have a camera and you're, you're just sort of filming stuff that looks cool or, you know, you think might look cool. I saw my success. And I sort of recognized, I think, that, you know, this is bigger than me. They're passing me the responsibility to sort of help get their story out. And that was very sort of daunting. This is one of the final days of interviews. It was sort of a heavy emotional day because um, a lot of the stories that these guys were telling were horrific. So sort of a heavy day, but then we, we took this photo. Here I am all squished in there and they all kind of laughed and it was a, it was a nice little um, tension breaker after a sort of an emotional warning. I finished the film when I was 18, so four years later. The only avenue for short films at that time was film festivals. So I started submitting. It got into 10 festivals total nationwide, and it won four awards. 
I personally was awarded the Emerging Filmmaker Award at Sacramento Film and Music Festival, which was actually huge. It really solidified, okay, filmmaking is where I want to be. I signed up for a community college in Sacramento. That was actually my first traditional classroom experience. I did two years there, and then I have started applying to film schools. I applied to Chapman University, to UCLA, and I applied to USC all in the film department. I got rejected by UCLA, and I got rejected by Chapman, but right after that I got in USC. The universe was telling me something. This was where you're meant to be. And that's really how it felt. If I hadn't gotten into USC or if I hadn't gone to film school, I, I definitely would still be making films. You know, I mean, that, that was never a question. All of the stuff that you learn here, you can totally learn on your own. It would take a lot more time. It was sort of a fast track in a way. The big thing that USC brought me was just the speed at which the learning was happening. I think that unschooling has had a huge impact on my life. I really attribute the passion and the drive and the motivation I have for filmmaking to unschooling because it gave me the freedom and the time. I mean, you know, filmmaking takes a lot of time and it really gave me the necessary environment to thrive in that. I don't know if I would have had the same passion I do for it if I had gone to school and if I didn't have the time to explore it.